I might be a love machine, but even this machine's gotta take a break sometime, so I'll say no. And by the way, fuck you, no pun intended, but fuck you for saying that Ellen's a thing. Look, I'm not gonna make love to you. Look, I am not going to make love with you. I like how you had to refuse her three times. If you can fix it, I'll get you a mirror. Now listen here, you can either hop in my baking hot oven, or you can fix that thing over there. Got it. The door's locked. Okay, fine. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna save it again. Just so we can't have sex with this woman. Use the bloody glass on the maid. Slice her neck open. I'd only smear blood on it. Okay, fine. Let's take a look at this oven. This oven is similar to... God, how I hated those days. Well, Ted, you've worked around broilers before. Use the oven. Ah. Ah. That's the problem. That was easy. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. It's been so long since I've gotten dirt under my fingernails from good, honest work. I think after this I'll need a mani-pedi. Oh, now it's going, even though it had steam coming out of it, and now it doesn't. Um, look at the oven. This oven is working as well as it's ever going to. Throw the chicken in the oven! Even though I just did that twice. Hello! Uh, talk to her. Hello! Fixed your oven, now where's the mirror? I fixed your oven. Now where is the mirror? Sorry, I don't know where a mirror is. But at least now, I can finish dinner. Oh, you. You. Why? You used me, you bitch! Okay, fine. So she either wanted to have a giant little bit of turkey stuffed down her throat, or she wanted this oven fixed! God! By the way, I know I'm an absolute pig, but I can't stop myself. I'm on a roll. Why, you used me, you bitch! Just like you tried to use me, you snobby bastard! <laughs> I'll bet you've used lots of women with your smug charm. You're nothing but a phony! You're nothing but a phony! Oh, big, ba big, fat, bloody phony! By the way, I love how she's saying that you tried to use me! Why wouldn't you make love to me three times in a row? Okay. Hi, hi, hi. Talk with her again. Hello. Please, I need to find a mirror. Well, you did fix the oven. Listen. Oh, you just need to talk to her again. Uh, where can I find the old woman? Listen, I'm sorry. Where can I find the old woman? You might try a bedroom. She's always studying her books. Doesn't go near the master's books. Master's books? Never saw what those two had in common. Can I talk to her again? I just want to say I'm sorry. Listen, I'm sorry. Don't bother me anymore. I've got to get back to fixing dinner. I don't have time for banging, bangers and mash. God. The door's locked. Well, that was hilarious. Um... <laughs> Coolio! So now, uh, in her bedroom, I assume this is her bedroom? Always studying those books she was. Um... Push the books? No secret. Hmm... I wonder if this is the bedroom that she meant. I used to work out, but... Well, let's go back to the talk with that lady. Um, yay, doorway. I'm so glad I found this doorway. It led to good times for all. Ah, oh, God. Talk to her. Where can I find the old woman? I... You might try a bedroom. She's always studying her books. Doesn't go near the master's books, though. So, I'm going to assume... Nothing special about it. I'm going to assume that this... Where would be the old woman's bedroom? It's not this room where we had sex with the maid. That's obviously her room, although I don't know why she has a giant picture of the dude in there. Use the glass with the door. Mm, mm. I thought you could, like, jimmy the lock. Tell you what, use the glass with the oven. I don't know what to do with these. Me neither, buddy. Put on that sweater. Throw the sweater in there, why don't you? This is about the same size as those door hinges. What? That can't be a coincidence. Same size as the door hinges. Use the icon with the hinges? Hang on, I just got an email. Let me see what it is. This is about the same size as ah, the just the 20% off blah 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 email. 
Thanks, Barnes and Noble, for interrupting my uh, recording session. Here, I'm gonna throw my phone away. Get out of here. Awesome. Okay, love and Ted so far. He's a little bit of an egotistical maniac, but he does seem to love Ellen, which is very surprising. Um. Uh, can we give the icon to the maid? You better put it back. It wouldn't do for the old lady to catch you with that. Can you let me into the room? Oh dear. The old lady must have broken another mirror. I'll sweep the rest up when I'm done with this chicken. You've been plucking that chicken for a long time, lady. Here, have the psych profile. I should hold on to this. It may prove useful as a bargaining chip. Bargaining chip? With who? I gotta say, even though this maid is very unlikable in certain aspects, you know, either have sex with me or bugger off, um, I do like how she's actually interacting with us with the items and, you know, Ted, obviously, and, huh. Can I use anything else with the door? No, okay. Can I use anything else in here? No. Can we use the oven again, just to see? Yeah, this oven is... Well, I gotta say, Ted's world did contain an oven. Remember back in Ellen's place where I'm like, no, nah, Ted's thing, I don't see why he would want to use a lot of ovens. Well, little did I know that Ted's place has two big, giant, gaping ovens. Awesome. Um, let's go to, let's go to Ellen's place, see if we can talk with her anymore. What the fuck? Uh. Uh. Okay. There is suddenly a devil with a sparkle jacket and very loose-fitting pants. Is he... Is this motherfucker wearing socks with sandals? Or are those fancy shoes? I can't tell. Either way, those are evil-looking. Well, um... What do you know? Definitely a pimp devil. I think he even is supposed to have a cane. Talk to him. Hey! Hello, devil. Not every day that I get to talk with you. Who are you? That's a stupid question. What uh, What do you want? That's a stupid question. Uh, can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? That's an even stupider question. Who is this Sir Gat I've ho heard about? That's a good question. All these other three questions are stupid. Where is Ellen's mirror? Why would the devil want to tell you that? What do you want? Why would he want to tell you that? Why are you dancing around like an asthmatic freak there, Ted? Who are you? I'm a devil, of course. Why else would I have this pointed tail? Um, why do you sound like a game show host? Well, of course I'm the devil, Ted. Why don't you come on down to the eternal pit of hell? What do you want? Ellen's soul. That's a valuable commodity where I come from. Um, okay. Ted's just okay with this. Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? Sorry, I don't bother with such material things. They only bring about bad luck. Wow, this guy... You know what this guy reminds me of? He reminds me of uh, the lawyer on The Simpsons. You know, the Phil Hartman character. He reminds me a lot of Phil Hartman. Who is this surrogate I've heard about? Heard about. He's a minor spirit. A demon. Don't confuse him with those pathetic imps. Or, heaven forbid, higher order devils. Opener of all locks, indeed. Ah! That's right, we need it. Okay, I see then. We gotta get this Sergat guy to help us open the door by the maid. Sounds like you really uh, hate demons. It sounds like you really hate demons. Am I really talking with this guy? You got that right. In fact, the only things we consider worse than those untrustworthy fellows are angels. Fascinating. Wow. Uh, beings as powerful as yourselves stoop to fighting like school children? That is actually pretty hilarious. How can beings as powerful as yourselves stoop to fighting like school children? Well, it's like this, big boy. Big you boy? Know, we do things exactly like you do them here. Or used to do them before Am took over. <laughs> I, is the devil afraid of Am? Please tell me the devil's afraid of Am. Are you saying that Am is in control of hell? What do you mean that you do things like we do here? These are very good questions. This is a fascinating thing. If you actually have the chance to sit down with the devil and say, Devil, you're on 60 Minutes. Can you please tell us exactly how hot is hell? And he'd say, hot as hell. Thanks. Is Am in control of hell? Please tell us yes. Are you saying that Am is in control of hell? Oh, don't look so surprised. 
Who else could be in control of this madhouse? Only man could create such a monster. Sorry. Um, okay, so... Are you kind of being... Re have you been replaced by Am then, devil? Are you just kind of his bitch now? Because that'd be hilarious. That'd be great if the devil was overcome by a giant machine that is like, Hey, Ted, you're my favorite, Ted. I love you, man. He's talking like a jazz club bartender guy. You love him. What do you mean that you do things like we do here? I mean that there are always internal struggles, petty conflicts for power. Only in this case, the struggles are between entities that you can't see or might rarely see. That means serious problems for you. Now, hold on a second. I wonder if this devil is actually the devil that's supposed to be here, or if this is one of the Am's, like, sub-computers trying to talk to us and help us. Like the coyote. What problems can these unseen struggles cause for me? You must decide who is your friend and who is your enemy. And remember, with Am's control over morphogenic fields, morphogenic mean nothing. Okay, so Am. Okay, that's interesting. So Am has control of how they will appear in the world. Fascinating. So the devil might actually be a saint trying to talk to us, whereas Ellen over there might not be Ellen at all. And the gullery maid is. Maybe a radiator. Please go away. Try to understand my position. I can't leave because there's an angel coming to take away her soul. If I step out and your friend croaks, the holy eunuch spirits the goods off to heaven. Fascinating. By the way, if you got if you understand that radiator reference, here I'll make it a little bit more simple. I just made love to that radiator woman from the radiator planet. Oh god, it burns! Um push him. This is your chance, Ted. Push the devil. Ouch! His skin is red hot. That's actually pretty hilarious. He still won't take his eyes off Ellen. Except when he goes to talk to you. Swallow the devil. I've eaten many. <laughs> that would be. That would be. Give the icon to the devil. Would you please put that thing away? I'm waiting for a soul here. He's like it's like he's waiting for a bus. Give the glass to the devil. Yeah, you want this? I bet maybe. Would you please put that thing away? I'm waiting for a soul here. God, Ted, you're so fucking inconsiderate. Um, use the devil. I don't know what to do with this. You have the devil himself. Put him in your pocket. Okay, fine. Hey, Ellen, honey, can you see this devil? Just wondering. Ted, I won't let you die. The devil is waiting for your soul. I can't let you die. The devil is waiting to take your soul. My soul was taken long, long ago, Ted. And not just by Am. Ouch. Anything would be better than this never-ending torture. Yeesh. That's definitely got a double entendre. Go back to sleep, Ellen. Yes. Whew. Well, Ted definitely sees her as a victim. And she is a victim. I'm not saying that she isn't, but... She seems a lot more helpless in Ted's little world. So then... Maybe that's because Ellen herself saw herself as a victim, and going through this trial with Am helped her to overcome that and become not so helpless as Ted sees her, you know? Okay, now if we could please summon this guy, I would be so happy. I don't know how, though. We don't have anything new. Can't talk to it. Let's have a look-see at it. Partially completed. This must be part of a... If we could go and find, like, some chalk or something, that'd be great. There's very little we can do at the moment. Well, there's one thing that we could do again and again and again. And that's, you know, well, I'll say run around. <sighs> hey! Uh, maid! You know there's a devil here? I think we might have summoned the devil. Mm, can we take anything else? Meat hanging from the thing? No. Oven door. This is the only lock I've seen in the entire castle. Is Anne trying to lure me in, or does he want to keep me out? I'd say a little bit of both. 